help to save lives. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not even a Peter Mac researcher. I work with people like you to find more cures for cancers. And I think you can really be very proud, in addition to the uh, two projects that you funded already, one for the liquid biopsies to help pediatric cancers and those children in particular with leukemia and brain cancer. I think there's really opp great opportunities there. We're also the other one for the uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. What we're going to do with immunotherapy there, they're fantastic. But the third project now, you can actually help regional patients have remote access to social psycho-oncology. So I think you need to have a big round of applause for that. And I think it would be appropriate if you would like some detail, rather than me tell you about it, maybe it's actually one of your own. Because I've been watching on Facebook your endeavors, and I did actually wonder, you know, was it your commitment and energy? I, w I was questioning it a little bit, as I saw you take swims in the sea, eat foods and recline on grass verges. <laughs> I actually know that the commitment and energy that you took in addition to train for this ride, to even be able to participate, you had great commitment and energy to raise funds. And one of the hardest things to do in this world is to go out to your family and friends and ask for money. And it takes great energy to keep doing that, to raise more funds so that you can accumulate and support us with a third project. We often hear that people say, I'd rather die and get up and speak in public. When it comes to asking people for money, people would rather get up and speak in public. That is the extent of how awkward it is. So I want to firstly really recognize the discipline, the dedication that you had to raising extra funds for Peter Mac and the researchers. And as a result, it's led to this wonderful third project being funded. As you can see, I'm a little bit in a suit I didn't actually participate, and I think it would be a little wrong of me to take the thunder away from Anna, who actually did participate, and rode the three days. And I think she would best describe the project for us. Thanks very much, Carl. Um, I won't be long because I know how hot it is, um, but I actually feel absolutely thrilled that we've been able to fund this third project because I think it's really meaningful for many in our team. Um, I know that not everyone is Melbourne-based. Um, there's a lot of people in our team who come from regional locations and we've been riding through some amazing regional locations as well. Um, and Peter Mac treats a lot of patients from regional areas, um, particularly people with um, complex cancer cases often come to Peter Mac. Um, but when we treat people with cancer, once upon a time, as you would know, it was really just about treating um, those cancer cells in your body, but we all know um, that cancer isn't just something that happens to those, those cells, it really happens to your heart, it happens to your mind, it happens to your family and um, the emotional impact of having cancer is really huge and we know that we need to support people through that experience. So here at Peter Mac we provide um, patients with access to psychologists who are experts in um, helping in the cancer space, to psychiatrists and to um, social workers. But what we're finding is that regional patients aren't accessing those services, one, because it's really costly to come to the city, and two, because often they feel too sick to make that trip. Um, so what we're going to be doing is providing remote access to those um, sessions with trained psychologists, psychiatrists and um, social workers uh, across Australia, including the um, regions where we went to as well, um, so that no matter where you live, you'll have access to the same quality of care. And as part of that, we'll be doing some research to develop the best possible model that can be rolled out across Australia as well. Before I introduce Ilya, who's going to talk about some of his work, I just would like to leave you with one thought. We all heard and were moved by William's story at the beginning of this uh, journey. When you sit around with your family at Christmas time, you sit down and you're opening the presents, I'd like you to think about the future generations that you will have helped through your efforts today. There'll be another William 
someone else who's been touched by cancer, and the investment in research today will help prevent and treat the cancer of that person, that young child in the future. And there'll be generations of children sat together around the Christmas tree, opening up their Christmas presents, who will never know the commitment and energy that you guys had, or how you helped keep that family together. So on behalf of those future generations and the researchers that you help here today, I thank you for your commitment, your energy, your dedication and passion to finding more cures for cancer. Thank you from everyone at Peter Mac.